Hello, and welcome. We're two episodes into the 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You anime adaptation. And I just have to say that already I can tell that this is a fantastic and faithful to the original adaptation. The animation is great, the humor hits just as hard as it does in the manga, and they're adding more details and moments to enhance the series. I'm bringing this up because sometimes anime have first episodes that are almost too good and aren't able to replicate that further down the road, but this is a series that I have faith in its adaptation. So, episode 2 begins with Rentaro meeting up with his new girlfriends, Karane and Hakari, as they walk to school. And I love the detail of the telephone pole sweating nervously to Rentaro, spilling his feelings, and then when all three are heading to school, you can see the school itself sweating nervously too. I forgot that the telephone pole was sweating in the manga too, but the school was added for the anime, so nice touch. And then we meet the utter refuse of humanity that is the vice principal for this school. And she was already terrifying in the manga, but the anime is elevating source material to a higher degree. And that includes the creepiness of the vice principal. She just straight up violates that student, twice actually in this episode. And they went all the way there with it. Like the x-ray shot of her tongue going down his throat, just wow. That's something you'd expect to see with other body parts in some looter anime, if you know what I mean. But yeah, they're going all out for this. Truly a fate worse than death. However, the Sonic the Sketch Hag line was pretty clever and got me real good. A lot of the jokes and references in Japanese might not translate too well to English literally, so I'm glad that the translators are doing a good job coming up with fitting ones. But that leads us to both of the girls realizing that Rentaro hasn't had his first kiss yet, and so one of them has to be the first. So the two try to use their own methods to have a kiss with Rentaro without directly asking him for it. Now, these are all pretty funny, but I love that they named the candy Baki instead of Pocky. I'm not gonna say why, but seeing that they went there with the name of it is all I need to know that Byberry is all in on this production. Plus we see the beginning of Karane feeding Rentaro's eyes gag, which happens to both of them in this episode. So realizing what Hakari and Karane are trying to do, he reveals that he's already got a light Yagami level plan to have the first kiss done fairly for both of his girlfriends. And don't lie, we all felt something inside of us when Rentaro said he had a plan and looked at us like this. If you didn't understand the whole dice game at first, it took me a while too, but essentially the girls are going to roll the dice to determine where they stand, and then Rentaro will roll his own dice to find out which one he's going to go to first. After he kisses them, the girls will roll the dice to see if they swap places, and then they'll have the first kiss done. They'll be blindfolded and playing music during the time too. And yeah, Hajimete no Chu is name dropped in the manga too. I'm glad they got the rights to play that song here. Now, as great of a plan that this is, I do have one problem with it, and that he's planning to kiss them in the future, so won't he know whose lips are whose? They'll taste and feel different, and what's preventing him from remembering who he kissed first based off of how they feel. But it doesn't matter because the plan backfired anyway. This was done pretty quick in the manga, so they added some more scenes of everyone failing to do the first kiss. But I do wonder how Rentro nearly falls off the school roof. I do like how you can tell that the thirst is strong with these two from how they react to the looter moments of this. Hakari is obviously down horrendous for Rentaro, but hey, so is Karane. Even though a cat was playing with her underwear, she didn't seem to mind if Rentaro did it, she just wasn't prepared yet. And on that subject, Cat Karane is my new religion. Upset that the plan doesn't work out, Rentaro runs out trying to get a hold of the vice principal because if having the first kiss caused his girlfriends to fight, he'd rather just throw it away on his own so they wouldn't argue. But Hakari and Karane wouldn't accept anyone else having Rentaro's first kiss other than each other, especially the demon who haunts their halls, and manage to defend him from said demon. And then we get to the real first kiss, and yeah, episode 2, we're already getting to the first kiss. Peak Reiwa right there. And in true 100 Girlfriends fashion, it is as unhinged as you would expect. I'm really glad they added the UFO in here since it was also part of the bonus content of Volume 1. I'm really hoping they add all the bonus content to the anime, and so far they have. 
And finally, the episode concludes with later on when they're in the library and Rentro ends up singing with the next girl. And I'm glad the subtitles called it a zing too, since that's what I've become used to saying. So that's episode two, and I'm so glad we get to see the OP now. It's literal perfection. Like, they revealed the song itself, just the OP size of it a few weeks ago. And seeing it come to life is everything I could want. It's so upbeat and bombastic, and the visuals that accompany it are mostly original. I really love Rentro taking damage like he's in Street Fighter and losing 100 health. Nice touch. There really aren't fourth wall breaks in this episode, which is pretty accurate for this manga chapter, but they're piling on the references big time here. And we have a new character, the Vice Principal, who I believe is voiced by famous voice actress Kujira, the voice actress for Orochimaru and Naruto, but I don't have anything concrete to prove this yet. If I got this wrong, I'll mention it in the next video. And something I saw that was pretty cool was the cat that was on the rooftop was voiced by Akane Yano, the character designer and chief animation director. So if you want to follow along with the series and the manga, this episode fully adapts Chapter 2. It does end with the very beginning of Chapter 3, but I'd recommend just waiting until the next episode if you want to read along. All in all, great episode. Can't wait for the next one, and be sure to subscribe for my next 100 Girlfriends episode review. See you there for that one.